Yo, we back with it, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. Who am I with T. Murray, man? Boy, we in the middle of a three for one tonight, you feel me? The third of the third, you feel me? Goddamn, so y'all already know what it is. Y'all know the name of the platform. Who am I with T. Murray? And as we do on every episode, man, we always let the guests introduce themselves and let the folks know who they is, man. So go ahead and get to them, my boy. Yo, what they do, man? It's Trap House Super Bottle. Super Bottle in the Trap House. Let's put lipstick and a wig on the pig and make a dig, man. We in the building, man. Once again, we in the studio right now. Excuse the noise. Finna put some Chopping shit. Chopping up tortilla pizza rolls. These shoes ain't $500 a foot. I won't put my feet in those. It say P-R-A-D-A. -A, right on my sneaker soles. He say he clean the kitchen. That's still hugs the boat. I'm driving real fast with your hoe. Why the letter suck me slow? All these bricks just came in. I need a shovel. It's like I'm stuck in snow. <laughs> I'm talking dog food. That pup, the feet say the best part of waking up is folders in your cup. In your cup. Two treatments, sweet, sweet, and low. 425 preheat the stove. Not in the corner with a razor blade. Busting out tortilla pizza rolls. It's a P R A D A. Right on my sticker soles. He say he'll clean the kitchen. If I let him keep the dishes, then I let him keep the food. He say the best part of waking up is folders in your cup. to it man we gonna we gonna take them all the way back man first of all let them know where you're from uh you know me i'm from Miami, florida Karen city scott lake big slt you know what i'm saying study learn study learn and teach you understand me say that 18 174 you know what i'm saying but i moved up to the old stay out of trouble dodging the rico cases and all that i love the old you know what i'm saying yes sir yeah, but uh, just tell me a little bit, you know what I'm saying, about, you know, in the early days, you know what I'm saying, coming up in the, at, from the crib, at the crib, you feel me, and then just transitioning to the to the old and coming to the city. Okay, when growing up, man, you know what I'm saying, I was into everything that everybody else was in in the hood, man, you know, we started out selling drugs, you know what I'm saying, and then uh, I realized it's 20 of us at the store. You know what I'm saying? I used to stand at the stove, then I became the man at the stove on that GT Dino bike. You know what I'm saying? But then I was like, man, gotta do more ways to get this money. I started hitting houses at that time. It was frowned upon. Nobody, nobody didn't respect no thief. You know what I'm saying? But I started hitting houses, but I ain't tell nobody. I started coming back to the hood, powered up, and like, man, you ain't not yet the stove no more. I ain't chewing like that. I was hitting houses on the low. You know what I'm saying? I can talk about it because that's your limitation up. You know what I'm saying? I did my time. You know what I'm saying? But I started ramming them vans in the, the, the stores. We just started doing everything. We started cracking the cards. But just take me to that. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, what was it? You feel me? Where you felt like you know you had to go put down. You had to go. You know what I'm saying? You had to by any means type shit. I had to get money. Money like everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Um, like, it's money. I seen all the drug dealers in my hood, the big guys, Bo Dilly, Ike, Bill, Convertible Um, We had Kenny Booty Williams, you know what I'm saying? Coming out of Kansas, and they put them up with Mercedes Benz, and all the trucks. And Ike had the Cadillac in his living room, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to get that too, you know what I'm saying? Selling water and mangoes and pumping gas, but getting it there for me. I had the car wash. I wanted to give me some money. I had big dreams. I was a little nigga with big dreams. So 
So I seen this was the fastest way. You know, I ain't had no older nigga to teach me the way after Rand died, recipes ran over. You know what I'm saying? After he died, I was just, I was just out here. I played sports, tried to do that football, played with Scott Lake Viking, rest in peace, Coach Jacks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it ain't go for me. Mm-hmm. I promised my mom I was going to go to the NFL. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my mom, I'm sorry if I didn't make it. You know, per se. So that's where we at with that. And um, just trying to get it, brother. You know what I'm saying? I had people in my neighborhood who was rapping, but it ain't, I ain't really think I want to be no rapper. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I ain't want to be no rapper till later on. So what, you know what I'm saying, what led you to the artistry? Uh, the music came way later. My little brother, GB, he was doing the music first, spending all this money in the music. But I ain't see that way for me. And then I was, uh, when I came, when I came to the O, I was going to sign a deal with some guys, you know what I'm saying, across town, but it didn't go through. And how that came upon was, my homeboy, he uh, always make me come to the studio with him. So I used to be in there telling jokes, cracking on the niggas. He was like, man, you doing all this? You need to go in there and man, put that on paper. So I'm like, man, I ain't trying to be no rapper. Yeah. I ain't do it. A couple of cycles went around. Kept going to the studio supporting my dog. Yeah. He was like, man, that's how you come, man. You ain't coming if you ain't got no, no paper. So I went home. Acapella, I ain't had no beat, no nothing. I just started thinking of stuff. And I came to the studio and that first beat I rapped to had to be that Nas Ether beat. I ain't claiming to be Nas, but when I got on that, it was like, damn, what well, you need to, you know, journey into the music. I'm like, man, I ain't on that. And then I dropped my first song and then it just been up from there. Not real. Yeah. So, if the folks been watching, you feel me, you know, you're not, you're not an ordinary type of artist, you feel me. First of all, your name, let, let, let's get into the name, you feel me, how we how we came to that. Yeah, Trap by Supermodel, that came from uh, my guy B.A., he just came home, man, my guy. I used to be in the trap all the time, fresh, brushing my teeth, washing my face, everybody in there, kind of like thuggy. Same clothes for three days, you know, that's that true that nigga outfit. Three days, you know, with his outfit, everybody got to see it. Even grandma, I ain't talking about grandma how got to show that outfit and Like, niggas were like, man, you think you a supermodel, we ain't this bitch to get money. You know what I'm saying? I'm cleaning up the trap, still making my plays, but I'm cleaning up. They were like, man, you think you a supermodel? I'm like, yeah, man, try by supermodel. And then it just, it just came on there. That wasn't my first original name, though. It, was, it was Killer Black. But then people start calling my mom I'm like, oh, kill a home. And I'm like, ain't no killer stay here. Yeah. So I switched it up to Mr. KB. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I went to jail trying to reinvent myself. I was rocking with my homegirl, Ray Man. Shout out to Ray Man. I switched my name to uh, The Gorgeous Gangster. And my dog was like, nah, we ain't calling you that. <laughs> we, we ain't calling you that. <laughs> we ain't calling you that. So I was on the phone with my dog. He's like, man, I want you to keep doing this music, man. I know you're in the right. I'm like, man, we're a trap out supermodel. I'm gonna go with that, you know what I'm saying? Cause that kind of encapsulate what I'm all about, getting money out of luck, being fresh, just like everybody else, shoes yeah, and clothes, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So that's how that came about. So I'm just sticking with that. Then I've been branching off. Now it's a trap I still don't hustle the boo and you know, Mr. Yeah. Lipstick, we ain't gonna pick, make a dig, you know, just circulate with it, having fun with it. That's yeah, what I'm about. Sure. Now before we get a little bit deeper into the artistry, you feel me? I want you to take us and take the folks through the walk of the trials and tribulations, you feel me? Cause like you said, you know, you done had to go sit down, you feel me? Yes, sir. Shit like yes, sir. that. Yeah. Like, just just for the artists out here and artists who watching, you feel me? Just get them from your perspective, you feel me? Like, the cause and effects of that when you trying to have a career or you, you in the motion of having a prosperous career. Yeah, it'll most definitely hold you back. I've been going to jail since 13, so before rapping, you know what I'm saying? Just in and out of jail, in and out of jail. I ain't really had no guidance, you know what I'm saying? After Rand died, so it was like all I knew was the streets. My daddy wasn't there as much. My mama, she working. So it was like, I gotta do something. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this is 13, you know what I'm saying? Going to jail, in and out. I'm still fighting a little case right now, trying to get it over with, but it definitely held me back, because like, as soon as I get that motion going, boom, I catch a case, 
I got lawyer fees, I got to make sure my kids straight while I'm in there. Yeah. Ooh, so that's set me back. So it ain't really the thing to do. You know what I'm saying? Person, I can't say it ain't the thing to do. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. But I wish I, wish I would have been smarter with my money. Got to fuck up a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you gotta have money at least three times before you know what to do with it. That first time, when I first touched 20, I was a dick. I ain't know. I'm going to get the car. I'm going to get the jury. I'm fucking all the red fat. I mean, dick hoes. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Ooh, ooh, I hang out. Then I went broke in three months. I'm like, God damn, but I got all the jury. I got all that, but I ain't got no money. And I don't want to look like I got the money. I want to actually have it. Then the second time, I probably hit for like a 10 ball. You know what I'm saying? Trying to be more strategic with it. It lasted a little bit longer. Then the third time when I hit for something real, I kind of made it last. But really, like, invest my money. I wish I would have did that. Knew about that a little bit more. Like, with all of the drug dealers in my hood, I used to wonder why you getting all this money from drugs. Why you got a car wash? Why you got this, this, this? They were watching it, trying to get up out of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I see the music as a way out too, per se. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, and I'm glad you said what you said, you feel me, because, you know, I feel like that's important, you feel me, and artists need to go, you know, they need to know that, you feel me. One thing about it, like, niggas can't do nothing about what you born into, what you born into, you around what you around, but you definitely, you can change it, you feel me, and it's better when they hear it coming from the horse's mouth, yeah. you feel me, than some shit, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm real talk, proof, bro. Man. I'm living proof. Straight up, man. Now let's get into the artistry, bro. Jail ain't nothing to celebrate, but that ain't a victory. You lost. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, say that. Yeah. Say that. Yeah. It, it's a lesson for sure. Yeah, man. it's a lesson. It's a lesson and a blessing because it could have been dead a lot of the time. Yeah. I never knew where I was at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Baby, I know you ain't dead. You in jail. You safe. I'm not saying you safe in there. Cause it's been time I had to get in the grid as a kid and programs and all that stuff. So yeah. But yeah, they know. And the and rapping, it don't tell you the bad side of it unless you see like right now we got an unfortunate brothers locked up, young thug, and it's a whole list of people, Pooh Shiesty, yeah. all of that. They don't tell, the rapping don't tell you the bad side as much. When you in jail by yourself, everybody done forgot about you. Nigga out there. Long digging your hole. You know what I'm saying? No nigga taking care of your kids. Yeah, nah. I had a lot of my kids many times. Like, I'm at work. Like, daddy, you ain't at work. You in jail. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, you're supposed to be honest with your kids. Let them know. I ain't want them to see that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it's the bad side of that shit, too. You know what I'm saying? If you is in the streets, I say, man, I ain't going to say stop, but kind of slow it down and try to rework that dope. And try to you know, do something legal. Whatever your other dreams is, you might want to be. Do that. Start that car wash. Try to get up out of there because I'm crying. ain't playing. You know what I mean? Just one time. Swear. Let's get into the artistry, man. Nah. You know, me and you, man. You know. Yeah. We got a song together. I'm waiting for him, man. I'm waiting on this guy to get that song going, man. He told AK5. It's right there. It's in his phone, man. He don't want to drop that fire. Nah, but you know we've been we've been kind of you know knowing about each other. Yeah, about been for, 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 for a minute for a long time. We from common ground, you know, okay. common people. But I'm gonna tell them about when I got to you as far as an artist, and that's when I rerouted the West Orlando. And I started popping out in the city. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I see you doing your shit. And I popped out, I'm talking about, if you ain't never been to a trap house, Superman show, <laughs> yeah, you doing, right you, you really, you really doing yourself a yes, disservice. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. I done literally seen this man run out the club, <laughs> to the street. Yeah. Oh, you was that at night? In front of the folks and all. I'm talking about, look, they, they like, damn, bro, whatever he doing, he ripping it there. <laughs> that was that nice shit. Yeah, I remember that. I wish the camera man would have got that on camera. You feel I'm so right? disappointed he didn't get that on camera. You know what I'm saying? And it's been many shows like that. You know what I'm talking about? I just see him go, go crazy. I be out my body, man. Well, I'm a, I'm a, we going to start from one of the first ones I caught you at. Uh, don't let me let's make sure we get the song right. Is it, is it other men? 
Catch him at the beach on Friday, Saturday, and catch him at Get On Wednesday. Oh, Already. You got an interview coming too. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. cool. Yes, sir. Already, yes, sir. man. But just, you know, from now, from up a minute, you know, you, you steady dropping and dropping. You doing these. Uh, talk, let's talk about your visuals, you feel me? Because, and, and make sure y'all go, matter of fact, let them know whether. Oh, yeah, I just go to uh, YouTube. Type in Trap Eye Supermodel, same thing on IG, same thing on Facebook, my YouTube, I think they got me shadow banned because a lot of my videos ain't popping up, so you probably have to click my face till I get that sorted out with the SOE and I mean the SE, SEO stuff, but yeah, Trap Eye Supermodel on um, Instagram, you feel what I'm saying, on um, Facebook. Let, let's talk about the visuals, man. Let me tell you this. So, because like I'm telling you, I'm, now I'm, I'm watching you as an artist now, this ain't the... Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. I'm, 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm on yeah, I'm on AR time. Now. <laughs> That's you feel me? So now That's I'm on the first video I see I pulled the other minute. But before that, you know the one you shot with J High. With with the with the um with the, with the server boy and Oh, that was uh Mr. Big Drip. Yeah. I was just getting out of jail and everybody was like, man, you need to you need to put something out there. So I went with that. I put my kids in the, in the beginning of that. You can check them out. 2G Squad, Ariana, yeah, R&A yeah, Squad. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, we do our homework over there. You know, we've been having a girl, man. We've been with you, you know what I'm saying? Most that. Most that. Outside that. for real, man. Most that. Most that. Most that. But yeah, um, yeah, I dropped that with J-Hot. Shout out J-Hot. He be running snap season. You know what I'm saying? One of the biggest shows that it be having out here, whatever he do it. Uh, he got the uh, co-star from Bigger Rankings. Uh, yeah, J-High shot that for me, man. He was like, bro, you hard. He used to come to me before he got locked up. When you gonna put sign out? And he shot the video for me. I definitely appreciate that. That was Mr. Big Drip. I just pulled out the sort of board, put on some um, snorkeling fins. And, and, the reason, and the reason why I bring that up, and, and and the visuals got better and, and better from that as far as the creativity, yeah. you feel me? And that's the one thing I wanna I wanna touch on with that, you feel me? And because remember I, I, it's artists that's gonna be watching this platform. And they I want them to see, like I said, from the boys of mind, people who work in front of <laughs> you you know, we got yeah. people we got people on here who, who got a name and, and, and yeah. even and even with that though, we, we show even in they in they trend they whole walk. The body, nobody is skipped no step. You know I mean? <laughs> nobody is skipped no step. Eric, they put time, effort, yeah. and, and real creativity into this shit. You feel me? And I think that's something that's important as they trying to make it get lost, you feel me? But then you got an artist like Trap on Superman. <laughs> Who ain't gonna let it die, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. And I think that shit very important, you feel me? Yeah, I appreciate Just that. the creativity that you put into your vision, you feel me? Like just where that come from, you feel me? Like and where your mind be at when you when you pick a song like, okay, I'm shooting a video for this song, like what just take me through that process. When I sit down with the uh, the director, Low Deezy, you've been shooting a lot of my videos. Shout out Low Deezy. Um Art Productions, AP Productions, you shot a couple of them. But I try to, whatever I'm saying in the song, cause when I rap, I try to paint pictures visually. So when I'm saying it, you can picture it in your head. So I like my videos to be fun, crazy. It's not just a regular video where people waving guns and showing money and girls twerking. So I want to put some extra on there where you can keep coming back, looking at the video and seeing something new every time. You know what I'm saying? A couple of times, my vision ain't get displayed on film, per se. You know what I'm saying? But I'm more working on that, like sitting down more and building a script and going from there. Because there's a lot of stuff that I've been wanting to have in the video, you know what I'm saying? They do. But sometimes a director may look at it like, man, I don't want it to be too corny or too goofball because my name on this. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And plus, it be outside the norm. Yeah. Or what yeah. Like, ah, oh, do they want to stretch the boundaries? You feel what I'm saying? Hey, that ain't see, nah, that's something that ain't talked about with, about when you going to create with other people, you feel me? <laughs> that's when you know shit you just touched on right quick. I ain't never rent, I ain't never bump into that experience or nobody who did, but I ain't even know that. 
videographers be scared. Yeah, because they name on that. They drop something because that's how they get their next customer. Off of you, okay? You show them like, oh, man. And, and, and I'm going to tell you why I say that. Because, if this is just my opinion, most of And no knock to nobody either. No knock to no content creator. But it's niggas who really put a label on themselves as a videographer, a music video maker, per, whatever you want to put on them. And all they really do is just hold the camera and, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So they be taking, you know, I watch niggas with, I thought I watch niggas with red dragons, with red cameras, camera, yeah, yeah. black magic yeah. camera, and the shit look like shit. I'm gonna keep it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know. They just did it for the money. A lot of the times, you know what I'm saying? I just brought a black magic and I'm gonna try to get into doing it. So I I'm wouldn't saying. think, I would just, on the outside looking in, I wouldn't think that. Damn, y'all niggas turning out videos because you scared the, because a nigga is actually being creative? Not because they doing the same shit that everybody yeah, yeah. else. I would think it would be that. Like, damn, another video at the corner for me? Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. not none of that. All that shit, you got to do that for the times when it's needed. But yeah. when it's just, come on, we, yeah, we yeah. watch we yeah. watch this shit every day. <laughs> another video. Yeah. Another video at the bando. Yeah. That don't make no sense. Yeah. You feel mm-hmm. another video in the apartment. <laughs> There's no transition in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it ain't nothing wrong with that shit. No, no, no. Just be the same. A nigga just holding the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no edit game. No, you know, I, I guess I care about shit. Yeah, like you're supposed to. You're supposed to. You're supposed to. You're supposed to. I think that shit, I ain't know that, I ain't down, we're going to have to, we're going to have to talk about that later on, we're going to have to bring that into the group, group discussion, we got yeah. some shit going on behind the scenes, I'm going to throw that in that, but I ain't know, damn bro, I ain't know niggas was turning, yeah. that, that, I feel like that really means niggas ain't really doing this, that this ain't your crowd for real, this is about the bread, which is understandable, everybody got to be their family, bring up, back to J-Hon, I done personally talked to J-Hon, had a conversation with him and he telling me on his own like, oh, niggas be wanting to do the same video, bro. I be trying to do some different shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Cause it's a copycat. They see, okay, this was successful. Might be standing at the store or in the trap and all that, and then they copy it instead of thinking like, well, let me try to do it this way. Let me try this. You know what I'm saying? I guess everybody want to be scared for somebody to judge it, but people are going to judge it regardless. You yeah, feel me? You know what I'm saying? So you might as well just be you. You know what I'm saying? Take it from there. But definitely 2023, like all my next videos, definitely going to be, I'm going to be done the executive director too, because I'm, I'm going to do a roof and do I don't care if it takes two weeks yeah. to edit it, or if yeah. it takes two months to shoot it, we're going to yeah. do it like this. But trust me, them real ones, them, that's the that's the what they want. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what they want, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust yeah. me. Nah, we gonna get into it because you you stay with hustlers. You feel me? And, and one thing about one thing that I know about you personally that I definitely gotta put out there through all your trials, tribulations, fumbles, successes, whatever. You always on deck, ten toes down to. Bloody and yeah, right. about them jet, <laughs> and, and that's important, bro. Cause we gotta we gotta celebrate mm-hmm. and, and, and encourage fathers. You feel me? And be the, if it ain't the money, if you ain't got no bread, real jet. The time you going out there throwing the football, yeah. playing the game with them, just like putting your phone down and just talking to your jet. Man, how you been? What's going on in school, man? You know, ooh, ooh, y'all a girlfriend? Nah, 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 nah. Cause I rather be the one. To show my kids the streets, then let the streets show my kids the streets, or let someone that's the same age as them show them something. Because if we both 13, you know, you kind of don't know more than I do, and you don't leave my, ch- my children the wrong way. So, yeah, I love my kids. They make me who I was. When I first had my first daughter, I was coming out of the hospital. I had, I stayed out, I almost died. I was in the hospital for like three months, coming out of Arnold Palmer, like with a damn that shit bag, yeah. dragging to Winnie Palmer. Yeah. Then they put that little girl in my hand, Anastasia, and then like my life changed from there. 
I know that damn my kids, this one, this is my legacy I'm gonna leave behind. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard, like with them jits these days, they on their phone all the time. Like the internet is teaching my kids. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And they might thinking that all oh, this stuff cool that they see. Like I was talking to my son the other day, he was like, yeah, damn, yeah. All them big girls that they spoken up like, man, look, that, that ain't that ain't per se cool. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it is what it is, but it ain't really cool. You know, it's just other stuff you can do with your time. And, and one thing why I bring that up because I definitely see from the beginning where you put you put the hustle in you and them. Going into what you brought earlier, yeah. the G Squad and all What's that. that. And they definitely made it been, been and still making noise right now yeah. when they come up. Yeah. You feel me? They just did a couple of shows for um, Outlaw Homecoming Weekend. They got a couple more videos. Just, 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 just tell me, just tell me about that in general. Like what, where that started? Like did, it was it? Did you see something in them and you put it on them, or it was happening? They took their own like. They show interest in Well, I, I used to catch my son in uh, freestyle and I listen by the door to see if he cussing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he said a couple of things. I was like, oh, we can work with that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you want to do the music or you want to play basketball? He said, I want to do the music first. So I brought him in there. He gave me some ideas. We worked together to put it together. That's Casey Allen. Casey Allen came to the playground. Cool Kenny. Mm -hmm. Art Ash and Bobby. That's G Squad. Um, and I got a studio at the house, so I let him go in there, and he just took it like a natural. You know what I'm saying? Because my kids was raised different. My, my daughter and my son, my first daughter and my first son was raised up ABC. You know, I got in the car, on the rap music, and one of them, we listen, you know. But then my younger son, you know what I'm saying? He ended up getting that future in that Rick Ross. <laughs> so he had a little bounce to him. I got videos right now when he three years old, singing few. So I was like, what? So we kind of got more little wiggle in them than my other kids, but we got in the studio at the but house. But you couldn't, I ain't gonna lie, just looking at them, you you couldn't just be like, like, you know how when you see, uh, like, the Jackson 5, everybody, everybody was hard at Jackson 5, but you knew. Michael. Michael. Yeah. You, you can't really, <laughs> you, you can't really see that with them yeah. because, okay, one of, they all on. One person song, even if they not on the song per se, if they in the video, the way they make y'all, they make it look. Yeah. It's like everybody, yeah, you feel yeah. me? Everybody on point, so you don't know how nobody feels. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. And that's hard, bro. Young. Yeah. And, and the reason why I bring that up because you know any controversy with that, like you know, with the rap shit, entertainment shit, whether it's acting, modeling, yeah. all that shit. Oh, you put your kids in this shit, and you move the move and this and that. Tell me about just that thought process and even making that decision. And obviously, their mother had to be a part of that decision. Yeah. Well, not in the beginning. In the beginning, it was kind of against it until we dropped that song, Case I Kid in the Playground. And they seen that the content in the song was geared towards kids. It, it, yeah, it was it's a new year, it's on YouTube. But it's, it's and, I, and let's say that right now. And go watch that to yeah. go link, to tell them what to link into that. Uh, G Squad Playground. Kids, Kids with a Z, G Squad Kids on YouTube, KCI King of the Playground. They just dropped Do You Love Me. They got like four other videos yeah. too. And it's super clean. Yeah. It's yeah. super clean. It's kid friendly. You can play it at your kid's birthday party. They hit you do it. You want them to come out there and do birthday parties. Tap in. We got that. You know what I'm saying? They'll come on out there and turn your birthday party up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it, it, it be a little controversy with that. You feel me? But I be looking at a lot of, just from our region, who parents, because a, a lot of people don't know about parents who took <laughs> Chances on the jet mm -hmm. on the music like T Pain or you mm -hmm. feel me? Or like shout out the coach. Yeah. With Bird, you feel me? So just take me through that when you just like you said, from listening to him at the door. Well what was the what was the process and the decision making to get to okay, we we gonna get the ball rocking and rolling. Well, he came to me with the music. Like once I heard him at the door, I was like, "You wanna rock?" He was like, "Yeah, I wanna do a little song." Blah, blah, blah. So I let him get in the studio at the house, and 
He just started doing his little thing. And then his brother was like, oh, he doing all this? I'm gonna try to do something too. So he got on there, said his little piece. And then cousin Ari, she came over one day and like, oh, that's okay, you can't see how I'm doing. I, I could do that too. So they started doing it and it ended up being good. And then their parents got like, I don't know. I don't know, but then we shout out Jay High. Jay High came out there and shot their first video. You know what I'm saying? And when they spread it out to the family, because they Haitian, you know what I'm saying? With the video was all in Haiti and everything, man. They started liking it and the ball started rolling. More people got involved, more hands. People started putting in more money, you know what I'm saying? Making sure the kids were straight. And it just, it just been rolling from there. You know what I'm saying? And now, you know what I'm saying? They like it. You know, they like it more. Like, oh, even at their school. At school, the teachers, I come up to the teachers, they start singing the song. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, I mean, like, <laughs> they kind of like, yeah, okay, sound, that's the guy. Especially with Duke Bible when the police came. And I'm thinking he finna say something to me, you know what I'm saying? He said, yeah, yeah, the son of star. You know, I'm like, hey, don't shoot. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's tough, man, you're a star. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, and it felt weird actually sitting there talking to the police, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't talk to the no police. Yeah, that, that, that's God, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now they look at him like a little star at school, so you know what I'm saying? You know, when your new song coming out? No, no, no. One of the teachers said they played his song at a wedding. It was kind of, but it was good and bad with it. Nah, and I definitely commend you and family on that. You feel we gotta, cause see, we can't wait till. You ain't here no more, and then we got the little shit talking about, mm -hmm. man, bro, you know, bro, woo, 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 woo. Yeah, nah, yeah. Man, you, they got to hear that now, you feel yeah. me? Yeah. That's what my platform about. That's yeah. why I, be, you feel me? I kind of, it, it, my platform always open that, you know, I, I put it out there, how you can really get in touch and lock in your interview, but What's that? certain ones they see, like, like these, yeah, already, yeah, yeah <laughs> that's already, it's song is already written, you feel me? And for a real reason. Yeah. They gotta get that, and, and, and I commend that, and I and I respect that, bro. For real, for real. So we getting towards the end of this, but from now, you feel me? Just tell me what you got going on next. Where we going from here? I want you to drop a couple of jewels to to these folks. I have two for you. Get out of here. Okay. Especially the artists, you feel me? Okay. Well, you know that's... what I'm saying? For, for, for we slide and wrap it up. Um, man, I'm going to say the end it off. Definitely be, um, man, follow me on all platforms. Trap out Supermodel. You know what I'm saying? I just dropped that uh, workout video. Uh, Lil DZ uh, edited that for me. Uh, I gotta, I'm going to drop a song tonight. I'm in the studio right now as we speak. I got a song called Early Morning Cup of Joe. You know what I'm saying? Fiends asking for a wake up. I got that early morning cup of joe. I'm the trap I still the hustle bow. These product shoes are hundred bucks a toe. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? So I'm gonna get in there and talk that uh, talk that little smooth shit. Um I got video, it should be coming out every month and I knocked out a couple features if you need a feature, make sure you tap in with me. Um, working with RS management, um, Richie Snowdown. I'm still messing messing around with Granite the South, my guy. Yes, sir. Snow, man. Yes, sir. Snow, yes, come fuck with me, man. He yes, already know what it is with me. Yes, sir. I got them boys backing me. And then, I'm, I'm, first of all, I just dropped the ball. Before we wrap it up, let's talk about, I, I, man, I apologize. I'm tripping tonight. I guess because we've just been running so much. <laughs> I, I couldn't let, I let that slide. Because I'm a nigga who came up off bro too, you feel We both, and, and, and it's crazy because people always be like, we just with me. I don't know about you. I'm pretty sure you get the same. Because a nigga from the crib, so they expect a nigga to be a certain kind of way. But then when they see you tap them a certain <laughs> Not just in Orlando, I'm yeah, talking about yeah. Florida period. Yeah. You feel it? Cause we really, we listen to that shit coming up. Like for real, for yeah. real. So when they can see you tap them the same, tell me about, you know, You told me how y'all laid in that, but just tell me in general, bro. Like, just by being like, bro, I'm, I'm working with Granddaddy South. Oh yeah, I had did a song with Granddaddy. Well, we had played Granddaddy for a feature, right? Like about like six years ago, when my dog wanted me to start rapping. Like, man, get on the song with me. 
I did the song with Granddaddy. Uh, you know, it's, it's still on YouTube, whatever. Ooh, ooh. Um, I seen Granddaddy at, at another show that I had at the Haven Lounge. You know, he remembered me vaguely, but I didn't want to see like no groupie, so I just, you know, kept it, kept it clear. And then, like I say, I did a show um, in Broward. Um, my guy Stick from Lost Tribe was slip and slide. He took to me stick. out there. He took Shout out to Stick. Shout out to the whole motherfucking Lost Tribe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Straight up. He took me out there like, man, he need to do this show, man. He need to do this show. Boost it up. Who do that? Who do that? I like, all right, let go. We had Jack Kane from a little football game with Bob Breezy them. The whole slip and slide trick them was out there. And um, I went and did the show. And I seen her inside. I'm like, man, I know you brought it from the old. Nah, nah, nah. I did a song with you. like, man, you ain't do no song. We stopped playing. I'm always joking. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I was like, ugly bitch. I did do a song too, so I saw the song, and then like I say, when I did that show in front of him and Peter Pablo, it just, it connect. He said, man, hit me when you get back to the old. So he came to my house, I don't even allow the people to my house. He came to my house, we chopped it up, we just been on ever since. We went up to Jacksonville and did a uh, fleet DJ week for a whole week, went up there and did that. He just been guiding me, you know, putting me in the right circles with the right people, you know what I'm saying, pushing me, coming to the studio sessions. And, Stuff like that. He's still pushing his own um, song too. He got some, a couple of things coming out. He did a song with Blood Raw. Oh, but yeah, he just wow. saw the talent. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? We can work yeah, together. You know, one thing about Granddaddy, you feel me? Like, he a real pioneer in this shit. You feel me? Like, he did a lot of shit that if he didn't do what he did, bro, the old probably. I ain't never heard of Granddaddy since I moved to the Ohio lot. And they, you know, all we got was Trick Daddy, Rick Ross, Trick Daddy. You know, and I know, and you right. You ain't lying. You ain't not, you not lying, but just me and, and my little circle partner I was with, like, we was up on so much shit. Oh, God. Like, Jenna music and I'm, a, I'm on that shit too, but yeah. I'm listening to everything that I'm traveling and shit. So, you know, yeah. come on now, look, you a part of the culture now. You play for Scott Lake. Okay. Hey, tell them for about Turkey Bowl, nigga, we in the O. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everything yeah. 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 But when I came, I ain't gonna cap. They used to play trill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. not yeah. lying sure. yeah. now. Yeah. I was supposed to stay. And yeah. then, um, I seen, um, I had me, met a little chick up here, who, who, she took it to the west side. And then that's when I first heard Granny and I was like, I don't give no fuck my life. Yeah. I don't give no fuck about my life. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I'm like, oh shit, but I never knew of him until I started seeing him around or something. I'm like, okay. That's just, that's just hard how all that shit connect, you feel me? And I ain't gonna lie, for, I know we, I said we were for to get out of here because I just missed two things too. Tell me about just that prayer, you feel me? Some some folks that I definitely admire and respect came up off of going to Stanton in the streets, you feel me? And, and oh, prayer. yeah, DJ Week. You feel me? Like 89.1, all that shit I'm talking about, Coco and all that. You feel me? Like, me, that's my guy. Like, he already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the office every, uh, what, Tuesday? Yeah, they had to send this shit before I sent Way before I left. Yes, sir. I did an interview with him, too, man. Oh, y'all to drop that little car that nigga tomorrow. But yeah, man, me, I love them. Boy. Them boys are the first people to support me when I go down every day. They tell me the same thing you just told me, like, bro, just be consistent, stay out of jail, bro. I know you gotta get this money because music is expensive. Yeah, yeah. They go to the same Jews you want to say about the music, like, you kind of gotta have a budget, you know what I'm saying? Even if you gotta work a regular job, don't be, don't be prideful. I'm, I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna stop you right there. Let me tell you why. Because we on this, I told you we on this three for three. You know, and the first one, shout out, shout out to Strings. Well, Strange just said the same one. <laughs> I mean, my bad, the same thing. Four hours ago, you got to have it said again. You got to have a budget, man. Shout out to my nigga Cold Milk, because if, <laughs> if you go to season one, if you go to season one, Cold Milk interview part one, he he wanted to first say the same. You got you, you yeah, got to have a budget. Well, your budget should mostly be with marketing and promotion. Like tapping in with media guys. Like who am I with T Murder? That's gonna help you get it out there. You know, I'm saying T Murder. <laughs> murder, no <laughs> murder. We had to do it in season one too. We had to do it in season one too, bro. 
Murray, no murder, man. Yeah, my man. You no, know, it's all good. It's all good. I'm talking about Murray like the Murray cookies. Yeah. You feel me? Like the Murray <laughs> mindset <laughs> sick of tight shit. Yeah, yeah, Murray hair grease. Get them, get them away. Get them yeah, love. Sir. Get them dogs in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's oh, kind of, y'all really don't know that's Kyler Murray cousin. You know what I'm saying? I need to go ahead and cut the check. <laughs> you feel me? We can. Go no, cut the check. But yeah, just put together a little budget, man. Like I say, recording. Like if, let's say I had, let's say I had a ten ball. I probably put two in the recording, and I put two in the, you know, your image or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Piecing that together, woo the woo. You know what I'm saying? And then I put the other six in the marketing promotion. That's reaching out to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Media outlets like who am I with T Murray and other little promoters and blogs. You don't even need six to do that part. Nah, you mean you? Yeah. What do you think? I, I'm a, this is why this. I'm a, this. This is why I'm gonna say that. Cause you do all the shit. That all the, it just. It just. It's a matter. It's only a matter. It's only a, a second. Yeah, a flash yeah, for that. Yeah. When you feel me? Before we all the way out of here. Yeah, cause, cause they look, y'all getting exclusive right here, boy. In a minute, y'all ain't gonna be able to shit like this ain't gonna happen. I'm just keeping it funky with you. You feel me? I'm gonna be the same nigga right here. Shit like this, no, nah, we going now. We ain't no more humble, man. Ain't no more humble. And yeah, that's, yeah, okay. You know, I don't even talk like that's how you know it, real. Cause you know what you not know before. I don't even talk, but that's how it's juiced up. This shit is right now, bro. It ain't gonna be nothing. You gotta, you gotta lock in right now while the access there, you mm-hmm. feel me? Look at it, not over it, talking about, man. I asked my people, for, you know what I'm saying, for a little woo to woo. My cousin they got an income tax, he couldn't even give me a little hundred. I got bitch. Everybody who gave me that hundred, boy, I made them. And just like you broke down, you broke down a 10 ball budget. His shit was less than that. Mm-hmm. But the key word, what? You gotta have some kind of budget. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. And work that bitch. Yeah, yeah, right. And keep it coming. You know what I'm saying? Even if, like I said, you gotta work a regular job, whatever you gotta do, don't be ashamed of that because it's about the goal. This shit, a marathon, ain't no risk. I'm glad they hear you say it too. Cause it, 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 it hit different. You know? mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I'm glad we did this. I'm glad the stars aligned like they were supposed to. <laughs> and it happened at nine and not then. And, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart, bro, because, dog, I'm just already done. Yeah. I'm still telling you the same shit I was telling you then, man. Nah. We said it. Oh, we, we said yeah, it. Yeah, you said it. And they rewind. Bro, just told me behind the camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, dog, I see that you get it. You feel me? It's, it's going now. I'm feeling it. And I'm seven right. years in on this shit. And that's what I want all my folks and all the people. Seven years in, in off and on. I think last year was the time I really liked to take it serious, but I'm definitely taking it serious this year. Like, what was that? Like, Moving everything together, man. I'm, gonna, I'm throwing everything to the wall, saying what's stick. Not real, man. So let them know where to find you, where to reach at, all that. Again, what you got coming, you feel me? Uh, shit. I'm, the, tape, the tape should be out soon. Uh, pretty people do the ugliest things. You know what I'm saying? Uh, talk, hey, let's talk about that title. That, ooh, you can't just breathe past that. You can't, <laughs> nah, you can't just breathe past that. It's just because it's the truth, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, pretty people do the ugliest thing. I just, I just thought I was thinking of, like, I used to get in a lot of trouble. And, and my mom used to be like, it's your baby face that's been saving you. You know what I'm saying? Woo the woo. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the world is vain. So, the, like, if it's a job between somebody who the world call look good and somebody who the world call ugly, tell a lot of person that look good, you're going to get the job. You know what I'm saying? Like, the pretty girls getting all the DMs, but they do the ugliest stuff. A lot of them sleeping on the air mattress. This time when I wanted to fuck, this bitch so bad. Ooh, ooh, I finally meet the bitch. This bitch down there sleeping in her car. You know what I'm saying? I said all of them like that, but like I'm saying, pretty people do the ugliest things. They may be dressed up good on the outside, but it might be a terrible person on the inside. So, you know, I was in the streets doing a lot of ugly things. Uh, yeah, y'all follow me on uh, all platforms, Trap out Supermodel, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my kids, G-Squad Kids on YouTube, G-Squad Kids. They also on Instagram too, G-Squad Kids. Y'all make sure y'all tap in with um, Who Am I with T-Murray, you know what I'm saying? One of the realest niggas coming up, I salute that guy too. 
you know what I'm saying, for coming out there, giving y'all that good content, getting the behind the scenes with some of your favorite artists, or soon to be favorite artists, you know what I'm saying? Sweet. Shout out my guy Shirt too, I'm in the studio with him. Yeah, shout out the motherfucking Shirt. He's going crazy. Yeah, my guy. He's gonna go crazy tonight, man. I just appreciate everybody for the support and the love, man. Y'all stay focused out there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You already know what it is, man. It was an honor and a pleasure, man. This ain't gonna be the last one either, bro. Yeah, nah. You already know what it is, man. Anytime you got some shit going, bro. I'm coming back. What's hey, that? Just hit my line. You already I'm know what it that. is. Who am I with T Bird, man? Yo. Trap out supermodel. Y'all already know what the play is, man. Stop playing with it, man.